We are finally getting some actual changes to the game. And with a new map means new bushes, new wards. So we're going to go over all the new map changes and all the new optimal ways to ward. So starting off in the bot lane, the biggest new addition is this pixel bush. Now, this bush is mostly a bait when it comes to regular wards. Uh, pink wards, this bush gives you a lot of control. But putting regular wards in here is mostly just inefficient. So for getting river control on red side, the best possible ward has not changed. It's still going to be this ward, uh, which gives you as much vision as possible up until the tri bush, but won't be seen if someone has a pink in there. Uh, and you'll get deeper uh, vision into the river there. Um, if you just warded in the uh, pixel bush here, you wouldn't get quite as deep vision into this pocket or into the river. Now, if you're on blue side, you'll notice that now we have to defend ganks from this tri bush here. Uh, and it's very likely this could be pinked. So the best possible ward to actually maximize your vision is right about there. Uh, this will get you the deepest possible vision into the river. And as you can see here, uh, it will spot anyone who's leaving the tri bush. Um, but if someone has a pink in this bush, it actually will not see this ward. Um, and this also can give you vision if uh, enemies on crab or on dragon um, and won't be seen by a pink on dragon as well. Now on either side, if you have lane control, this bush is actually really, really good to put a pink in. It gives you complete river control. And unlike in the past where there was the bush here, and let's say you're on blue side, you could go for something like this ward and it wouldn't get seen by a pink here. Um, but this is not possible anymore. So this bush is very, very, very OP for putting a pink in. The best spot is to put it at the very top tip of it so that it will see uh, if someone puts their ward here or here. In the past, this ward you saw sometimes, if you knew the enemy pink was like up in the bush there, uh, but now this will get revealed. And it's also less valuable because the bush is closer to uh, the tri bush now. Putting a pink in this bush has not changed at all. Uh, most of the map changes are uh, around the blue buff on both sides of the map. Uh, red buff side is mostly the same. Now red side also now has a tri bush of their own. And you want to pink basically in the same way all the way in the back corner here so that it is as hard as possible for someone to auto it. If you put the pink up here, um, it can spot a ward here, but then it's very easy to simply auto from here. If you're on blue side and you want to safely ward this try, you can just go right about here, and it's pretty easy to ward this bush from pretty far away and safe. Also on bot side, uh, a great deep pink ward is going to be here. This bush is quite useless in general. Nobody really has any reason to be in this bush ever, unless they're, you know, baiting. Uh, so it's very rare this bush will get checked and it's a very good pink. It will see, if you put it all the way on the edge here, it will see this whole opening. In addition, this pink is also quite good, serves a similar purpose. And again, this bush is pretty useless. It's pretty rare that someone has a reason to actually enter this bush. So mid lane is obviously much, much wider now. You are much less susceptible to ganks. Uh, when it comes to warding in the early game, the most important thing is this bush is actually longer than it used to be. So what you'll find is if you just ward the edge of the bush here, uh, and we put uh, we'll put a dummy over here, and we go over here, you'll notice the ward does not spot the dummy. So putting a ward just on the edge here no longer sees the whole bush. You have to max range it from the wall in order to actually get vision of the entire bush. This is meaningful later in the game when you are trying to face check this area. You can't just ward from here. You have to go all the way up to the wall if you want full vision of this bush. Uh, in addition, if you're going to put a pink in this bush to deny vision from the whole bush, you also need to put it uh, on the edge there of your range. The other really huge change is there is no longer a ward that covers this whole intersection. Before, when there was the pixel bush here, you just ward the pixel bush, or you can ward here, or you can even ward here, and it would cover this entire intersection. A ward that covers the whole intersection just does not exist anymore. If you put it in the edge of this bush, you'll notice it does not reach anywhere close to here. If you ward here, it covers this, this, and anyone coming in and out of this bush. But what it does not cover is a jungler or somebody walking through this bush. We call this kind of a banana bush uh, going in here and out here. They will not get it seen by this ward. A pink in this bush will be very important, especially on red side, and it'll be very hard to clear. Uh, you need to put, put your ward right about there, right on the edge here, so that it sees uh, 
both to here and to this wall. But keep in mind, it does not see literally anything here. So you will need multiple boards if you want to see all of the information here. In addition, on this side, it may look like this ward covers all three of these intersections, but if we go over here, you can see it does not see someone leaving this bush. So even on this side, it is not possible to ward this entire intersection. Now, another really important ward for mid lane, if you can get a deeper ward, is going to be by the blue buff here. On this side, you have to place the ward pretty precisely. It's gonna be right around, uh, right around there. And this ward will actually spot anyone walking into this bush and anyone walking into this bush. Uh, this ward is pretty OP because uh, if someone has a pink here, it also will not get spotted by this ward. Um, and like I said, it will see anyone leaving mid lane or going to mid lane through here, and it will see anyone walking to or from bot into this bush. Now to deny this ward, uh, pink in here will do the trick. Um, really important, uh, it may feel good to put your pink in this corner, but this corner is superior simply because if you put it in that corner, this ward becomes possible. But if you have it over here, where it is right now, this ward will get denied. Now on the top side, this ward's actually even easier because the new map is not totally symmetrical. What you'll notice is this bush here just kind of, uh, I don't know what the shape looked, kind of like a parallelogram. Uh, but here, it actually kind of wraps around to here. Um, so if you just smack a ward here, it will very easily uh, catch anyone walking into there or anyone walking out of here. Uh, but again, you want to put it, uh, perhaps that wasn't quite perfect placement, somewhere closer to here so that a pink in that bush won't spot it out but it is much easier to place on this side. Another really important thing to note for mid lane, as you can see, I'm a uh, master Yi now, so I forgot to record this part, um, is warding mid lane itself is not as good as it used to be. So if you ward here, typically you would do this, let's say you're on red side, maybe enemy had Katarina, right? So you would be able to see which way they're roaming uh, after they crash the wave from this ward. But now with this uh, entrance here, if somebody walks back here and this way, this ward will not spot a roam up towards top lane. And same on the other side of the map, uh, walking this way, if you had a ward say here, uh, it will not spot someone. They could fake reset and then simply walk this way to bot lane and Katarina gets a triple randomly. Very fun, right? Now for top lane, top lane is so wide open now. Uh, ganks are gonna be incredibly telegraphed. Uh, you'll see them from a fucking mile away. Now, just like bot lane, I think warding this bush is just a bait with normal wards. Um, if you are on red side, your most optimal ward is actually gonna be something like there, uh, so that you see this whole opening and you see as deep into the river as possible. Also important to note here that this blast cone is gone. So unless you're against a jungler like Kindred or Jarvan, uh, ganks over this wall are way less likely. So you can uh, ward the river here, this kind of thing. Uh, and be pretty unafraid of ganks. On blue side, uh, your best ward is gonna be about the same. It's gonna be about there. This just gives you the most possible vision, again, without being seen by a pink in this bush. For pink wards, again, I think pinking this bush is quite strong. Uh, where you place your pink matters a lot less here, uh, but you do just wanna put it as deep as possible to get as much vision as possible into the river here. Uh, and pink here is no different than the current map. You want to put it as deep in there as possible so that it's as hard to auto as possible. A great new deep pink for red side is going to be in this bush right here. Uh, on this side of the map, you do have to place it much more precisely. You have to put it right on the tip of the bush there in order to actually see all the way to the edge of this wall. But this is a very powerful ward because there's no more blast cone here. So if someone wants to do a creative gank from Gromp, it will have to be a jungler with a dash. Uh, otherwise, you will see anyone coming from their uh, topside jungle into top lane here. And if you want to see blue buff, this ward is still very good. The distance between blue and Gromp is bigger than it used to be, uh, but this ward is still extremely effective. This area has changed quite a bit. And if you ward the corner of this bush, this no longer sees the Krugs. 
So as a jungler, be aware if you think or you know there's a pink in this bush, uh, you're going to want to kite your camps up this way. But as a top laner now, if you're trying to ward the Krugs, you can't just ward this bush anymore. You have to ward the Krugs themselves, either here or whether it's over the wall, something like this. But on the bot side of the map, this is still true. If you ward the corner there, as you can see, you get vision of the Krugs. Now we're going to get into late game and objective focus wards. Um, this ward here, if you are blue side as a deep ward, is still very, very good. Um, it's going to cover this entrance and these and this whole intersection. Uh, now, though, it will miss this if anyone walks from mid lane this way. Uh, it's actually not going to catch it anymore. For dragon, I'm going to mostly talk about blue side because that's where the wards have changed the most. When it comes to dragons, warding over this wall is going to be pretty OP, especially with the blast going here. It's going to be really important. Um, so to deny this as red side, pink here is going to be really important to deny any vision put here. Um, if you put your pink here, uh, enemies can just put their ward there. On blue side, you can ward this tri-bush from these little trees here, just like so, pretty safely. And important to note that if you have your pink here, it's not going to see if uh, people on red side ward over the wall here like so. It won't spot these. So really important to have uh, a pink in the river here. I don't have a pink on me. So really important to have a pink here to deny free wards over the wall here. So as blue side, if red side has, say, a pink there, uh, pretty good setup is going to be something like this, where you have a pink here, a ward here, and ideally a ward over there. For Baron, I'm going to talk mostly about red side because that's the side whose setup has changed the most. As I said before, pink or regular ward in this bush is really, really good. Uh, just make sure to place it all the way on the edge. If you're going to ward over the wall here, you just want to make sure that your ward is just out of vision of this bush so that if blue side has a pink in there, it won't get spotted by this ward. And if they have a pink in this bush that you haven't cleared somehow, even though you're standing here, uh, this pink will not spot this ward. And if you pair this ward with a ward around here that sees this whole intersection, uh, as you can see, you are pretty covered. And again, I can't stress how insane uh, this ward is here. The last late game thing I wanted to go over is this new Baron pit. So if you didn't know, when Baron spawns now, it's gonna randomly spawn one of three pits. Uh, this is the most interesting one. The other two are very similar to what we have currently. Now, the ward spots themselves aren't gonna change much, but this pit is gonna make Baron way harder to start simply because there's so many angles for people to come through and the chokes are also smaller. As you'll notice, this entrance is way smaller than the typical one. And every way out of this is a narrow choke that, depending on team comps, you can get absolutely railed in. The important thing here is knowing which direction the enemy team or the enemy jungler is going to be coming from. So a ward like this, which is now very easy and safe to place from over this wall, is going to give you information on if they're coming from mid lane, are they going to come in through one of these two entrances or are they going to wrap around and come in through one of these two entrances here? In addition, if the enemy team has a pink in here, it is way easier now to kill that pink over the wall here. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. If you found any wards on your own that I didn't mention in this video, please uh, feel free to put them in the comments. I would love to see them. And if this was helpful, check out my other videos. Thanks.